So this is the Xbox mini fridge, which is a replica of the Xbox Series X console. It's a one and a half to one scale replica, which means that it is bigger than the actual Series X. This is the box of the Series X. I haven't opened this yet. Let's see what's inside. It's a big one. According to this, it can hold up to 12 soda cans. Some features. Shows what's in there. The dimensions too. And it lights up. All right, let's see what's inside. Basically how to plug it in, what all the different ports are. How to register and again on a different language. All right, here we go. Nothing else inside, just more styrofoam. Put that aside. And that's what the fridge looks like. It has a very matte finish. Oh, it's pretty light too. Here's my fingerprints all over it. button I'm not sure what that does you do have a USB port there's a sync button it does click let's turn this around it's a fingerprint magnet here it's got all of what the ports would look like at least a replica of it And up top, you have that, you have that, to the side, Xbox logo, Car lighter, that's cool. Or plug for the car lighter. And you got your AC wall adapter. The trays are removable. That's nice. Couple warning labels, got little trays here. Let's grab a few things to put inside. So I've gone ahead and plugged this in and see how long it takes to uh, cool up. You can hear the fan whirring. It's a little awkward to have it plugged up top. So if you have it sitting there, it plugs on top rather than what we're used to, which is uh, where it's in the bottom. If you click this button here, this lights up. Like this. If you click this, that's the top part. There's no light inside. It's a nice bright green though. So that's still cooling off. 
you have an eco mode. You have a max mode here too. I put it on max because see how cool they can get it. And this is my Xbox Series X. It's got some vinyls on it. Don't judge. If you know who that is, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> but that's what it looks like. Here's the ports on the back. Let's see if I can get a good. It's pretty good. So I'll come back to this when I feel that it's cold enough. Okay, so I let this run for about 10 minutes and it's pretty cool. It's not freezing, but it's enough that you can put your cans in there. It's not bad. You can put it up there, that side, or sitting down. It's advertised that you can get 12. That seems right. If you had water bottles, We'll close that way. So you're going to have to either take the bottom part or the top part and stand them up. It looks like there's uh, some space there. You can probably fit five on top. But what about games? Can you put games in here? Let's put this top tree back up. Oh, did I do that? Got a few Xbox games here. Resident Evil, Resident Evil, Resident Evil, Resident Evil. They fit stacked like that. It'll close as long as you're not hitting this part. Standing up, probably not. Again, you'll have to take the top tree back out. Fit it in there. It's running. It's cool right now. So I should turn it off. How about Switch games? Got some Switch games here. That'll fit. Actually, it almost fits sideways. But it gets tight in the back here, so it's a little snug. So I don't think it'll fit that way. You're going to have to stand up all your games. If you want to display them. Oh, how about Dying Light? Let's put some Dying Light there. Oh, it fits two games. But it won't close because you have that. So you're definitely going to have to play around with it. Controllers. Put a controller in there. See, it fits one way because it's narrower in the back. Like that. Put a controller in there. Controller fits on top. If you want to display it and you have a stand, you can do that as well, too. No, that won't help. But uh, that was fun. So that's the Xbox. I just dropped all my games. Xbox mini fridge. Xbox Series X. Thanks for watching.